Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly, and today's video is actually going to be trying out free Instagram patterns that take around the 30 minute mark and if I think they're worth trying out. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, just stick around. I am going to start this video off just saying that I finally did make a P.O. box. I will leave it down in the description box below. If you guys want to send any mail or anything like that, my P.O. box is down there. I am going to try to start my Etsy shop back up again, hopefully by next month. So let me know if you guys are interested and if you are, what crochet items would you be interested in buying? Just so I know what kind of to stock up on. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Some of these were flops as you're going to see and maybe it won't be a flop for you if you try it out but on my end it was and I am going to be showing you the app that I use to kind of calculate how much I charge my plushies as well as it shows you how long you took making the plush so this was a really good example to show how I use this app this is how I know how long the, my projects take me you know in that 30 minute mark and that's how I got this video together so let's go ahead and get started on the first pattern I am going to talk about my favorite pattern out of all the ones that I tried this is like my I would say I would put this in number one out of the patterns that I've tried so it's this cute little small axolotl. It is by Perla's Craft Design. These are all free patterns on Instagram if I didn't mention that at the beginning. And this is what this cutie looks like. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this picture that I posted today that I made the entire rainbow. Let me see if I can hold them all up. There they go. Oh. But yeah, this is the first pattern. It's so cute. So I use this app called Time Track Pro. Now I only have the free version. I didn't pay for the like the pro version of it. And the free version is pretty good on its own. So what you're going to see whenever you first like come onto the app. So there's going to be this little mark right here with all the lines you just click on it it'll give you all of these options where you need to go is projects which is down here on here it'll show you all the projects that you've used this app for to like time and stuff so you'll probably need to play around with it but you'll add the little plus sign you'll put in i always put in like let me show you the first one that i have on here, I put like the name of the pattern, the where I got it from, so some of them will say Instagram, and then the person's at. And then when you click on it, it'll tell you what your what you want the hourly rate to be, and mine is at 24, and if you want to default it to hourly rate, which I do. And mine is at 24 because I charge myself um, around 16 to $18. The rest will include the safety eyes, the polyfill, any type of extras, the yarn. So I just do like an estimation which comes out to $24. Doesn't mean I'm charging $24 per plush. That's $24 an hour. So you can do that and then you go if you if you're on that same screen again if you go to timer, you just click on it. It'll say click for the project that you want to select and that you want to start. And you click on whichever one you've just added. So I would have clicked on my axolotl pattern. And then it'll start timing you to see. You'll, pre you'll press start and then you can stop whenever. And it'll kind of let you keep up with how long you're spending on a project. So I really do like that. I just don't like that you, you cannot have, at least I haven't figured it out, you can't have multiple projects at once. Like I can't go back to the axolotl and start somewhere else. It's like you have to finish the project in order for you to start a new one. That has been my experience, but maybe if you guys get the app, maybe you'll figure it out. Or let me 
know what you guys use because that this is the app that's been working pretty okay for me you know I don't use all the features I just use that and I got it from Katie being creative so that is what she used to use I don't know if she still uses it but a long time ago she did make a video about it so if you want more information on that you can go to her video as well because I am terrible at explaining apps it's terrible let me go ahead and show you how long it took me to make this small axolotl. So, as you can see on here, it says it took me 28 minutes. So that's how much I would charge, which is $11.20 for this little guy. So, you know, I kind of base it off of that. I'm not going to charge exactly $11.20. I'd probably put this on the $12 bin or something, you know, but yeah. This is what this little cutie looks like. I love this pattern. You guys need to try this out. And that's why I made so many because it was so easy to make. The only thing you have to add on are the little gills. And that's it. The tail is already in the pattern. My next favorite pattern that I'm going to talk about you guys are going to love. It is this small bee by Fami Crochets so cute this one took me 30 minutes to make so it says I would charge $12 so if you look these are kind of the same size this is a little bit chunkier so I probably use a little bit more polyfill you know so maybe 12 to 14 dollar range I would charge you know that I don't feel like that's a bad price at all you can also put a little keychain and make it a little keychain buddy so this pattern is so cute you guys need to try it out the thing is you do have to sew on the antennas, you do have to sew on the wings, but besides that everything else is pretty um, included in the body of the small bee, but very cute. The next pattern that I'm going to talk about is this chubby little kitten. Look how chunky this little guy is and how big its tail is. So this chubby kitten is by, I think it's Stitch Point A or Stitch Pointa. This is this little guy. I made him angry. He kind of looks like a mouse in a way, but he's meant to be a cat. He could be a, a mouse and then you can, instead of making the chunky tail, you can make a little thing you know nothing but chains for if you wanted to make it a little mouse this took me 37 minutes and it says I would price it at $14.80 and I will give you a comparison between that and the B it's a lot bigger so I'd probably do 16 bucks or so but this is so cute I really really did enjoy this pattern I enjoy the details of the little cat. He's so mad, you know? He's like, why am I so fluffy? But he is so cute. I would definitely make this one again, and I love the gray that they chose, and that's why I use gray as well. The next pattern that I want to talk about is this pug pattern. Look how cute he is. This pug pattern is by Nooks underscore Hooks. If you guys want any of these patterns I am gonna link them down below so I may not have them on the screen because I am filming this at 5 43 p.m. and I want to have this up before 10 p.m. so you know my fault I should have recorded yesterday but I wasn't feeling all too great so I'm filming it now and editing and posting it up today so Ooh, I don't know why I do that to myself but this little cute little pug pattern like I said it's by nooks underscore hooks and look how adorable he is. I feel like he's extremely detailed for what he is. He has his little legs as bobble stitches. And I think he came out so adorable. He is pretty chunky. He's a little chunky man. So this took 27 minutes. And it's it says I would charge $10.80. So I would probably put him in like a $12 bin. Look at his little face. He's adorable. So this next pattern, I couldn't even believe that it was a free pattern. It's crazy. I had to like make sure I was like not in an alternate universe because this pattern is pretty amazing and I really do think you guys should try it if you guys are going to try any of them. I think this is one of the more unique patterns, I guess you can say. This is called a birdie pop. This birdie pop is by two different crocheters, Winnie's Crochet and Crochet Crochet. This took 32 minutes and it says I should charge around $12.80. But the cool feature about this little fella, you see how his neck is? It pops. It's like so cute and chunky and then, you know, out of nowhere. 
He's a little pop socket. <laughs> He's so cute. I love it. He's kind of like a little fidget toy for anyone that has kids that, you know, fidget with their hands. I am guilty of that. Like I need something. Crochet really helps me with that when I'm watching a movie. So the fact that they made a little socket friend here, like a little pop friend is so cute. So I went ahead and made them in like this mallard colors. It did take me 32 minutes, but I think it was more of the color changes that came with it. Now, if you just do like a yellow duck, um, it would be less time and they even have like one a mod for like the eagle so if you like a duck an eagle or a mallard I really wanted to try the mallard and try different colors and it is so cute it's one of my favorite patterns and I'm definitely going to be stocking up on making these these are so cute and it only took 32 minutes now without the color changes I'm pretty sure it would take me a lot less time than that so it's a really good pattern you guys should try it the next pattern that I want to talk about is this rotisserie chicken pattern. This is by Fauna Plushies. It's this little cutie. Since we're all on a chicken rave, you know, these past couple months has been nothing but chicks and chickens and birds. I figured I'd try this one out. It took me 28 minutes to make, so it says approximately $11.20 to charge. Now, it didn't, I don't think it came with the feet but I just put them on you know I did have issues when it came to the little top part of the chicken I didn't quite understand what they were asking so I had to redo it maybe two or three times I want to say um the third time's a charm because I did get it on so I will say watch out for that you need a I guess read it carefully I didn't understand it at first but you know user error after that, I did get this cute little chick, and he's so cute. You do have to put these on, so, you know, I think theirs is a little bit lower, but I thought it looked so cute and elongated if I put him up a little bit higher. That's this little rotisserie chicken. He's so cute. Next pattern I want to show you guys is actually a no-sew pattern, and it's a no-sew turtle. So this mini no-sew turtle is by Crocheted by L Shop on Instagram. It took me approximately 24 minutes to crochet, so it says approximately $9.60. And it's so cute. I love that none of it has to be sewn in, you know, especially for a turtle. Everybody loves turtles, and you just want to kind of like knock them out real quick and this pattern is free so that's another plus there this is the bottom of it it is a little chunky butt like a chunky little man so some patterns I feel like are small but they don't I feel like they're they're too small the next pattern that I want to talk about is this camera keychain it's so cute I did make it in acrylic this is the only pattern that I used acrylic on it is by crochet girl I'll put the link down in the description below because her name is not just crochet girl there's like stuff in between this is it it took approximately 27 minutes to make and it says I should charge about ten dollars and eighty cents here's this little guy up in personal it even has the snapshot on the front which you do have to sew on this as well as this and then I added the little keychain which is very cute I feel like they would sell really well as a smaller keychain. I will say I, I feel like I stuffed it too much. So the next time I make it, I will not stuff it as much. So just be cautious of that. The next pattern that I want to talk about is one that didn't go so well with me. It's probably user error. As you can see it flapping over here like this. But it's probably user error. I'm not too sure. I feel like this is one of the patterns that I'm talking about that's like too small, you know? Like... You wish it was a little bit bigger just because to me it doesn't make sense for it to be so small. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But it is this little seal by cute underscore crochet underscore crafts with two S's. You guys need to try it, you know, because everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But the little front blue part here is actually sewed onto the white which i didn't understand i'm like why can't it just be the magic ring six single crochets inside the magic ring and then everything else be white i feel like the tail was too small and then the fins were too long and then his body was too short like i feel like it needed more rows to kind of get that seal look i went ahead and made another version of it um using that 
you know, starting off with the same pattern. But I did do the six single crochet in the magic ring with the blue. And then I made the body longer. I ended up using my fins and tails from my puffer fish pattern. So I think the fins and you know this is no so like I made this no so so the fins are actually smaller which is cute but the tail is a lot longer which is really what I wanted out of this this to be smaller and then the tail to be longer you can barely see the tail so that's what I did and I think he looks a lot cuter but of course like I said I did use her pattern I just kind of made it my own which is so adorable like I said maybe it's user error that I didn't understand how to do how to do the fins maybe they're supposed to be smaller if you guys want to check that out it is on Instagram and it is free so the last pattern that I want to talk about is a boba tea pattern. I was extremely excited to try this pattern out and it just didn't go the way I wanted to go is what I'm going to say. But this is the little boba tea. I did make it in purple like a lavender color. Instead of using black I used brown beads and like the brown straw with the tan top. I feel like the top is too big because every time I try to connect it to the purple it was just way too big so it's now it's like I feel like it's spewing over which not in a good way you know I just feel like I just want to push it back in um I should have just taken one round out and that very much can be user error because I may just they may crochet tighter than me right so it may be just like the gauge on it so besides that I love the the shape of the cup I love these little she wanted you to do like felt but I didn't I just six single crocheted a magic ring and kind of sewed them on I love the little straw so the main issue was just the top which you can easily fix by decreasing like taking a row out this little guy took me approximately 36 minutes and it says to charge $14.40 she did do it in acrylic I will say so sometimes it doesn't go well with like parfait chunky so I will definitely try it in acrylic next time and I'll let you guys know how it goes but I think these will look so cute in keychains especially if you do the felt that would be that would give it probably a crispier look for the bubbles so I really did enjoy that pattern I just think it's user error that I need to try again and I need to do it in acrylic to see how it comes out so really only one kind of semi flop for me anyways you guys can definitely try them out they're all free on instagram so i will link them down below i know we love free i know we love under 30 minutes so we can market prep i just love to try to give you guys ideas to kind of get your minds to brainstorm to see what can sell good what cannot like i said i do have a p.o box if you want to send me any mail or anything like that i love letters let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below make sure sure you like this video and you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed already I really do appreciate all of you guys I think we're up to 1404 crochet friends so if you want to join the friends and family group here just make sure you guys subscribe so I do now post Tuesdays and Thursdays so very excited about that I used to do only once a week and I'm already prepping for my video on Tuesday I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will see you guys then bye